Here are six product ideas found using ChatGPT. At the end, I'm going to narrow these down to the very best using ChatGPT, but also my own calcs. In case you've never used this, I am going to drop a link to ChatGPT below. If you do find value in any of these ideas themselves, or even just the process we go through, please drop a much appreciated like on this and let's begin. The first question we're going to ask here is what are the top niches for selling private label products online? Out of these, I'm just going to choose two, but you could do the same process for any of these. I'm going to choose home and kitchen and pet products. So now we want to know for home and kitchen, what are innovative and profitable home and kitchen products? We have this group here. I want to look specifically at storage and organization. And I want to begin like niching down into this. So I'm going to ask where are home storage and organization products used most in a house? So let's focus here on kitchen and then garage. We're going to ask what are popular kitchen organization and storage products? And notice here I'm always using the term product niches. So it doesn't give like individual products here. So we get all of these. Let's focus on just two of them, cabinet organizers and pantry organizers. So we know these are popular, profitable, but we also want to narrow competition. So for pantry organizers, I'm going to ask, what are the newest types of pantry organizers on Amazon.com? And as an AI, it doesn't have real time access, but it's still going to give us good ideas here. I like this one over the door organizers. So at this point, I'm actually going to have a look at this market on Amazon over the door pantry organizer. And here already we can see this looks good. 13 reviews, 700 sales a month, four reviews, almost 500 sales a month. And these are quite good price points, especially this one, but very low reviews. These are brand new products sellers have listed and selling very, very well. And one line down again here, five reviews. This price is a bit low, but over a thousand sales. Or this one here, 82, excellent sale price at 1100. This one at 60, over 800 sales. So this is actually very good. So I would count this as a really good product we managed to find, just niching down, asking those questions here. The other one I want to look at is cabinet organizers. What are popular types of kitchen cabinet organizer product niches? Door mounted organizers again, but I want to look specifically at this one, under sink organizers. So we'll search that exact term here. Here again, we have a 46 review, good sell price, $40, 2100 sales, over 2100 sales. And one line down, this is really good. These are very new offers selling extremely well. This one a bit lower of a price point though. Even this one, 14 reviews, almost 300 sales, a bit more competitive than the one we just looked at, but still brand new listings are selling extremely well here. So I'd count this as another really good one we managed to find here. I will also run a profit calc on all of the ideas we find here at the end. But back to this question in terms of where storage is used most, I also want to look at garage here and ask what are the newest garage storage product niches on Amazon? Out of these, if we look at wall mounted storage systems, what are popular types of garage wall mounted storage systems on Amazon? A lot of these actually look very good, but let's take a look at tool racks. And using Helium 10, this is a different tool. I'll link a video up here if you want to learn about all these softwares. But tool rack, very good volume. Tool organizer, even better. For now, let's search tool rack. And again on this one, looks quite good. 85 reviews, 634 sales a month at a $36 sale price. Some of these have been here a bit longer, but we have a narrowed down. We look at all different types of tool racks. Over here, also very good. Only 36 reviews, this is new. 235 sales. So let's say you wanted to focus in on this version here, not this one, but this type. What you could do is click in here to the specific type of product and then just copy the URL at the very top here. You're going to type in order of popularity, what search queries do customers type to find this product on amazon.com. Then you're just going to paste that URL here and search. And we get these terms. So we could look more specifically at cordless tool organizer. 
And if we search that, you can see this is more relevant. It's not showing like the garden tool ones. But again, yeah, this looks really good. Low reviews, all selling very well. And this is a great price point here, as long as you can collapse this product for shipping. So I'd count this as another one we managed to find. Also a bonus in this area using the same process, but looking for more new innovative products in the niche, I did find this one, Tool Chest Organizers, which is exactly that. Very low competition here. We actually see breakup even on line two, but the ones that are here are selling very well. This is another one that you can look at, but I'll do profit calcs on all of these at the end. So now we've gone from home and kitchen, we've niched all the way down using ChatGPT. Let's look at pet products. What are the most profitable pet products to sell online? I'm gonna choose pet toys and ask what pet toys sell most online. Then I'm gonna do the exact same, but with interactive pet toys. Which interactive pet toys sell most online? All of these, I like automatic ball launches. This one sounds interesting, so let's take a look. So searching this exact term here, the first thing I notice is the review rating. So some of these products are probably quite low quality. Look at this, even a one star review rating 19, it's still selling 4.43 a month. Even at 200, this is a really good sale price, almost a thousand sales a month. And then we see these higher price versions also selling very well. These are probably higher quality. We also have this one, 23 reviews, almost 300 sales at this sale price. So I'd say maybe not as strong as our other ideas because the sales numbers are a bit lower, but still really good. Another thing you can do here is just as you're researching, you might find something like this, seven reviews, good price, 550 sales. So say you wanna look more into this, you can actually click into it and copy this URL at the top and find the keyword for this exact type of product. So again, we'll just ask how do customers search most for this product and drop that URL in. And we could just take interactive dog toy. On this one, I wanna be more specific. So we're gonna go with interactive dog ball, which we can see has good volume. Some higher competition here. This one's been here forever but three reviews, 164 sales, good sell price. And then a line down mixed here, but 87, 59, 36. And all of these are also selling very well. So again, another product type, I think worth researching further in the pet niche here. So now we have found six products with this, but how do we begin narrowing down? One way we can do this is we can ask in bullet points, what features of the following products do customers dislike the most or want changed based on reviews on amazon.com? Then we're gonna drop a list of our products, drop those in here and search. Now out of these, what I'm looking at is which of these are visual things we can fix. For example, these two are quite weak because poor battery life or balls getting stuck or changing launch distance angles. This is very difficult for you to physically change on the product and display. It's something difficult for you to advertise for your new version. Whereas if you look at something like the pantry organizer, inadequate hooks or pockets, this is something we could physically change and like easily advertise on our version or not fitting certain types of doors or not being able to hold heavier items. That's something we can integrate in the design and which on the main image is going to sell our version. So I'd say the first four are our best ones here. And then based on this feedback, I went and found the most desirable one to customers in each niche. This one being for the sink organizer, the pantry organizer, tool rack, and the toolbox organizer. Then I found a matching supplier for each of these just so I can get the cost for our profit calculation. Then for each, I drop it in here with an international shipping adjustment on this. And you can see the potential profit margin for the under sink organizer. And I generally want this initial profit calculation to be above 40%. Or you can see the same here for the overdoor pantry organizer. Or here for our wall mounted tool organizer. Lastly, for our tool chest organizer. Based on all of this, the best are the wall mounted tool rack and the over the door pantry organizer. Followed up by the tool chest organizer and then lastly I'd put the under sink organizer just because of that lower profit calc. And a question for you, are you using AI in any way for your business? And if so, how? I would love to hear in the comment section below. Also, if you do have any cool video ideas, I am looking to do 
new different content just to branch out even if it's not e-com related so if you do have any cool ideas that you think would fit I would love to hear about those below. If you did like any of these six product ideas or just the process that we went through, please drop a much appreciated like on this for me and I will catch you in the next video.